And she was like, huh? and he was like, ah. and we was like, what? and she was like, huh? and he was like, ah. and we was like, what? The hell go? Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you will find a former idiot answering your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. I'm hoping that it's just to avoid. So today's question sets up an answer that I think may be the most important answer that I will ever do. We're only on episode 14. So... That's pretty good for you guys who are who are early adopters of this podcast and vlog. So today's question is, how do I avoid making mistakes? Sounds pretty wide open. It isn't. It's actually pretty straightforward. But if you are trying to get over your idiocy, this is something that is coming too late. I know I got this information too late or I got this idea too late and... Once I looked back on it and reflected on this piece of advice, I went, oh, yeah, that's true. That kind of sums up uh, most of the things that I've kind of messed up on. So here's the piece of advice. How to avoid messing up in life. This is it. Let your yes be yes and let your no be no. That's it. Where did I get this piece of advice? Did I come up with it myself out of my own wonderfully intelligent head? No, I didn't. I've heard it three different places, just as powerful each place. The first place that I came across it was in the Bible. It was in Matthew 537. If you're not a churchgoer, then the other places that I found it work just as well. The variation of it is, if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. That was said by James Altucher. But James Altucher will readily admit that he took it from Derek Sivers. And Derek Sivers puts it very plainly. If it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. They all work exactly the same. When your yes is not yes and your no is not no, and if you're not a hell yes or you're not a hell no, what you do is you leave a little crack, just a little itty bitty crack for your yes to be no, and for your no to be yes. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So the way I think about it is the door may be 99.9% closed. You can look at it that way. This is a little pessimistic now that I think about it. So 99.9% closed, or is it one-tenth of a percent open? That's what you have to think about. Think about when something comes up and you have that thing in the back of your head and you go, no way. No, this is not going to happen. No, I'm going to say no. You need to make sure that that door is freaking slammed shut. Whatever the situation is, whatever. And this is really generally more towards making like big mistakes, like big mistakes, like, like big mistakes. So when it's a no, you need to slam the shit out of that door and make sure it is a hundred percent close. Because what does a tenth of a percent become? tenth of a percent becomes one percent and then maybe it's slowly five percent and then your nose not no enough and it's 15 percent and 25 percent and all of a sudden before you know it because it's a hell of a lot easier to throw a door open when it's already cracked doors wide open and you're letting all the crap in and you don't even know what happened you said no it was a no you were avoiding it you knew it was you knew it was bad you knew it was inherently bad but you leave that little crack open. And before you know it, poof, it's wide open. So you have to let your no's be no's and your yeses be yeses. Now, this can be applied to everything. I know I'm applying it to getting in trouble because this is the avoid idiocy, get over your idiocy kind of a thing. But this really works for everything. If you listen to the last episode, Finding Your Northern Star. So when you're on your path and you know what you're doing and you know you, because this is this is really all about self, self-reflection and understanding who you are and knowing you. When you're on your path, when things come up, you know. When you get it and you go, oh, well, maybe. 
never say maybe. You either say yes or no. Now, don't. that doesn't mean jump to conclusions. That doesn't mean say yes and no right away. That means sit back and think and evaluate and really understand where you are and where you're going and, and where you want to go. When things come up and you go, that you know, I have this goal, I'm going in this direction, and this is really pulling me off of this direction. If it's not, that's where the, if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. Because what happens is you only have so much time in the day. Time is the, is the commodity you cannot get back. Think about that. So if you spend time doing something you don't really want to do and it takes away from what you should be doing, you, you lose that time. That yesterday's completely gone. All you can do is focus on today. So the sooner you start focusing on today and really focusing on what you want and how to get there, the better. Because when you say no to other people and things that don't concern you and things that, that you don't want to concern you, you're saying yes to yourself so you can focus more on yourself. And there's going to be some things that maybe you miss out on. There's going to be some things that that maybe you wish you had said yes to, but you weren't 100%. And that's okay because when you focus on the things that you really want to do, more opportunities are going to come up. So you may have missed yesterday's, but you, you'll get today. Maybe you missed that last investment. Maybe you should have, um, maybe you had a chance to invest in, in Uber or something like that. There's going to be other Ubers. There's going to be other investments to make. You passed on that because that was the best thing for you at that time. And you need to be comfortable in that because that's good. There's, you need to look out for number one. You need to look out for you because if you're not good, your family's not good. And if your family's not good, nothing's good. So you need to make sure that you have your stuff handled so you can be the best you know, father, the best husband, the best wife, the best partner, whatever. You need to be that person. So you have to take care of you first. If you start going off all over the place, you're not going to be handling who you are. Like I can't stress the fact that this helps jobs, assignments, moving, relationships, tasks, chores. And it's really, really, really important when it comes down to doing dumb stuff. Okay. I would guess that every single person that's in prison, every single person that's been to prison, that's been to jail, that's gotten in trouble, I would guarantee that whether it was a yes or a no, oh, hey, I'm going to do this, but I knew I shouldn't, or I said no, but I left the door open and I get caught in anyways, I guarantee they did not let their yes be yes and their no mean no. And if they did that, if they used this one piece of advice, they would have avoided every issue that they had. That's why I think this is this this could be one of the most powerful um, podcasts and vlogs that I've done. When you stay firm and when you leave, when you slam that door shut, the issue's over. If it keeps coming up again, you didn't slam that door hard enough. And what I think happens with certain certain types of bad things is, you know, you don't want to hurt feelings. You're worrying about what the other person thinks. You're worrying about not making something a bigger deal than it really is. And all those little things, it's like a little, it's like a little doorstop. It's closing, it's closing, it's closing, but there's this little doorstop. Uh, I don't want to be mean or, oh, it's not that big deal or, oh, okay, it's just a joke. We're just messing around, whatever. And those little cracks lead to wide ass open doors. Hell, they lead to ripping the freaking door off the hinge. You can't, you can't open a door if it's slammed shut. So let your no be no and let your yes be yes. And you can apply it to making bad decisions. You can apply that to work. You can apply that to relationships. You can apply that to everything. This really is, I think, one of the most vital things that you should do moving forward in your life, whether things have been great or whether things have been good. They can only get better when you let your yes be yes and you let your no mean no. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go, go, go.